tucked away in the small town of St. Nazians, where the cows may outnumber the people, there is a business that is sowing a strong reputation, one step at a time. We have some very experienced, wonderful employees. Employees that lack a common business world characteristic, testosterone. It all started for the 23 women at Contract Stitching 15 years ago when some of them lost their jobs at the Lever and Shoe Company in Valders. There was four of us girls that thought this would be a good idea to keep on doing this because that's all we ever did. So Marie Faber and fellow owners Linda Kopey and Beth Falvey opened up their own shoe business. With the help of Weinbrenner USA Shoe Company and Merrill, contract stitching was born. You're not going to get rich being a shoemaker. I don't think you ever will. But the women are doing well, constructing work shoes for American men and women. So well, in fact, contract stitching is one of the few American shoe companies providing military boots for soldiers in Iraq. There's lots of them. From what I gather with numbers, it's over 49,000 pair Weinbrenner Shoe Company shipped out to military men and women in Iraq. This small operation produces about 4,000 pairs of shoes a week, but that number pales in comparison to the 2 million pairs of shoes these women have made since the beginning, 15 years ago. I, I'm proud of us, and I'm proud of you know, the product that we make. A product that is handmade by women who have done nothing else but create shoes for working Americans, a job that many take for granted a life that these women love. In St. Nazian's, Jay Olstead, Fox 11 News.